Dutch distributor DMAX offered me a DA converter by the name of New Prime UDSD that caused the déjà vu. Welcome back to the HB channel. The New Prime UDSD looks a lot like the New Force Micro DAC 3 I reviewed in March 2015. It's bigger, but it has the same fingerprint. It appears that New Force was sold to video projector company Optoma and that one of the designers, together with some investors, started a new company named New Prime that, amongst other audio electronics, issued the UDSD DA converter. It does PCM up to 384 kHz and DSD up to DSD256. It's fully USB Audio Profile 2 compatible, which means it will play on any computer without a driver with the exception of all Windows computers, for which New Prime has a driver on their website. Like the MicroDAC 3, it uses an extruded aluminium housing, which holds on the front a volume control that doubles as a power switch and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Two small lights indicate whether PCM or DSD signal is playing. The rear contains left and right analog output plus an SPDIF output, all three on very sturdy gold plated RCAs. Unlike the MicroDAC 3, the USB input is on the left side. The advantage is that a full sized USB Type B chassis part is used, which is more sturdy than the mini USB on the MicroDAC 3. It also means that the USB connector will be sticking out from the side. If you are not interested in tech, skip to the timecode below. The USB on the side made it impossible to have its PCB slide in on two rails. That's only relevant for manufacturing and prying journalists of course. The USB input is handled by an XMOS chip and the DA converter chip is from the ESS Sabre series. New Prime claim native DSD conversion, the ESS specifications do neither confirm or deny this. For the rest 5532 op amps are used, the TOCOS potentiometer and sturdy connectors should be mentioned, mentioned too. Excellent components given the price of the UDSD. The user manual shows a picture how to connect a UDSD. Connect the USB input to a USB connector on the computer and the analog outputs to an amplifier or receiver. Other inputs are not available, so this converter is not suited to be driven by a CD deck, streamer or digital receiver. The UDSD is powered by the computer, so no external power supply is needed. I did not attempt to use a separate linear power supply, but I did use the, an AudioQuest Cinnamon USB cable instead of the standard cable. The SPDIF digital output will not be used by most users. The UDSD also has a headphone amp integrated that drives my AudioQuest Nighthawk cans nicely. When connected the line outputs are muted and the volume control engaged. Given its price I like the sound of its predecessor, the New Force Micro DAC 3 and since it was cheaper than the also lovely Musical Fidelity V90 deck, it replaced the latter in set 3. The new Prime UDSD has the same fingerprint. At just under 200 euros it costs one third more than the Micro DAC 3 but does very high sampling rates while the Micro DAC 3 is limited to 96 kHz and doesn't do DSD. The new Prime is a converter that fits my 900 euro set 3 very nicely offering playback of any file at any sampling rate and even DSD256 files. It behaves nicely in my sub 3000 euro set 2 but lacks the openness in the mids and the highs and is more strident than I would like in this set. But that's ok given the 199 euro price tag. To be honest it's surprising how cheap, to use a blunt word, decent DA converters became over the last 10 years. If I compare this 199 euro DA converter with the first generation benchmark that costed 1500 euros 10 years ago, the new Prime 
not only sounds more open and more controlled, it also measures a lot better. Like a noise floor that's 15 to 18 dBs lower. Don't forget that noise and distortion in digital are the same. There are some things to consider too. It's a very small device that I would stick to my rack using double sided tape and I don't like the USB cable sticking out the side. I would advise the manufacturer to supply an angular USB cable or the owner to get such a cable. Having said that, the UDSD is a brilliant DA converter that's easily one of the best and versatile ones in this price category. It's very nicely built, looking good and, most importantly, sounding very good. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends on the web about it. If you have questions, post them below this video in YouTube, post them on my Facebook account or on the contact page of the HBproject.com. Subscribe to this channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter if you want to stay informed. You'll find the information in the description below. I'm Hans Beekhuizen for the HB channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.